Here's what we did in the trading room today. Traders, I'm done trading for the day. As you can see, I bounced back a bit today. Well, I'm actually having a very good day. Let's, um, let's face it. I mean, compared to what happened yesterday, this is just a small bounce back. I made just over $33,000 with my open trades here. So that's it for me today. So, you know, I, I was uh, really thinking very strong about what happened yesterday. Um, not yesterday, I wasn't, but this morning. I mean, yesterday I wanted to forget all about it, but this morning I was taking another look at my video, at what happened yesterday, and I have so many... Uh, I came to an understanding that I had so many issues with what happened yesterday, which I did not really see when they did happen yesterday. You know, some people wrote to me and, and you know, what I'm, what I'm really talking about here is how to bounce from a losing day. And I'm glad I'm having a green day today because, you know, having two red days in a row is something that uh, you, I, I personally hate. And of course, sometimes I get three day, red days in a row. In, in a row. So I, I really hope that I'm going to finish this day in green so I could be, you know, a little bit mentally bounce mentally as well as uh, financially. It's a small financial uh, bounce really from what happened yesterday because I was down $220,000 yesterday for those who didn't see my video. I had a terrible trading day yesterday, my worst ever. So that's a small bounce, but it helps me mentally. It helps me tremendously mentally. It's because I did prove myself that I, well, whatever happened yesterday, I could bounce, I could go back to uh, my normal uh, trading routine and again in addition I try to avoid the mistakes that I've made yesterday. In some of the some of the remarks I had, some of the uh, posts that people um, uh, wrote down on my uh, YouTube channel for example were uh, well you taught us not to do ABC, why did you do that? Why did you short a stock that was uptrending like Tesla? Now, uh, what about the size? I mean, my second trade size, for example, and I kept shorting and I kept insisting Tesla should come down and so on. You know, let me just uh, answer this uh, very plainly, very simply. It's much easier to teach than it is to perform. It's much easier for me to teach you guys than to do what I teach you. I'm human and I'm making the same mistakes you guys are making. Teaching is easy. Doing what you teach is much harder than, uh, than, than teaching. I'm happy to say that in most of my time as a trader, I do what I teach. If I would go back to the days where I started as a trader, I would uh, definitely say that uh, I, I, mean, I, I was making many more mistakes every day and um, and in fact, I was in red for, I don't know, two years or so. And the, 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 the number of mistakes I was making, although it was clear to me what should be the rules, was huge. Right now, I keep teaching the same things I taught uh, 15 years ago. But my, the, the quantity of my mistakes, some of them I made yesterday, a lot of them I made yesterday, is in nowhere to be compared to the ones I made like 15 or 20 years ago. So it's not that I am immune from making mistakes. Yes, I made mistakes yesterday, which I'm ashamed of as a trader. I made mistakes yesterday, which I teach people several times not to do. And only today did I realize how many mistakes I made yesterday. And, you know, I... I, I just needed a clear mind morning in order to take a look again at my trades and understand. And I just couldn't believe my eyes. I mean, I was looking at what I did and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I, I don't even want to repeat what I did yesterday. But the thing is, I do mistakes just like each and every one of you. I do have my big down days every once in a while. Just that the number of the big down days is dramatically reduced. That's the whole idea of becoming a successful trader. If you are a successful trader, it's not that you avoid mistakes. You just do less. You become better because most of the time you can stop yourself. Some of the times you can't. The number of mistakes you're going to make 
is going to be reduced. It's not going to be eliminated. You're not going to stop doing mistakes. And if you needed a proof for that, yesterday was my proof. I did not stop making the same mistakes I teach you guys not to make. It's at, at the time when things are happening and you know, trading uh, is sometimes very active and you're involved mentally in the trade and mentally in understanding what uh, you think is sh should happen and losing money and trying to compensate for that. Although you do not, uh, at that time, if you, if you would ask me yesterday if I'm trying to compensate my loss or if I'm trying to uh, get back to green no matter what and, and many more mistakes that I made, I would, at that time, yesterday, I would definitely protect my, my, my trades and I would say no. Uh, taking another look of, at, at it today, well, that's, um, I am looking at it in a different light and it does look to me like I've done uh, way too many mistakes yesterday. And uh, yes, could not be eliminated. And tell you what, I will keep doing mistakes. Definitely will keep doing mistakes. Hopefully after yesterday, less. The more time passes, the more slaps I get uh, on my cheeks when I'm making big mistakes like yesterday and the slaps I'm getting and you guys are getting as well is losing money. There's no biggest, I mean, that's the biggest uh, punishment you can get. You're losing money. And I, I got a big one yesterday. Definitely got a big one yesterday. So that helps you learn. We learn from our mistakes. We become better traders from our mistakes. The more mistakes we do, we become better traders. The mistakes we make helps us become better traders. And uh, don't expect to get to the point where you totally uh, eliminate your mistakes. It will probably, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure about you. I'm sure about myself only. And I do see it from many other students as well. Uh, people are making mistakes, a lot of them. And so, well, that's the game. Nothing, that, nothing I could solve. Let's take a look at uh, some of my trades today. Um, if you take a look at uh, DG, that was a classic uh, gap and go. Waited for it to move up and then come down again. That was a classic move under the reversal point. So that was a nice, uh, for me, almost $10,000 trade. Uh, Tesla, I was really thinking whether I should take Tesla today or not. Um, and uh, I, I came to the conclusion, well, what happened yesterday has nothing to do with today. Let's keep the rules today. Do it the way we should. Trade the way we, I should and just forget about yesterday. And I try to do that. Although um, I, I did do it correctly. You know, I had a $23,000 winner today in Tesla. And um, at one time I was over 30, 33 or so thousand. But my second trade took me down. Next time, the second trade in Tesla, which was a losing trade for, trade for me, I, that, at that point right over here, although it looked like it, uh, it looked fine at, at some point, but uh, the size was lower and uh, the risk was lower. So we took out around a third of my initial profit at, um, well, that was my first trade in Tesla, which really worked out very nicely. Uh, I had a failing trade in ZM because the market changed directions once more. Another nice gap and go trade in PDD. The market today helped me because unlike yesterday, it did what it was expected to do. For example, started with a gap down, moved up and came under the lows. That did not happen yesterday, but it failed to move down again. My second trade in Tesla would have worked out fine if the market wouldn't have failed the second time and then moved over the highs. So anyway, I did have a good day and I'm glad I bounced and I'm hoping you guys did uh, better uh, today too than yesterday. If you had a red day yesterday, hopefully not. So anyway, it was um, I'm very happy that I bounced and it gives me a lot of uh, satisfaction to know that, well, it just happened and maybe it's just an isolated issue that what happened yesterday. And anyway, I'm back and I'll see you all tomorrow. So just uh, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, let's hope um, we're going to keep on doing well tomorrow.